God had chosen David to be the next king of Israel. King Saul had died, and God gave his people a time of peace. David lived in a beautiful palace in the city of Jerusalem. David brought the Ark of the Lord to Jerusalem and set it inside a tent he had pitched for it. One day, David was talking with Nathan the prophet. David said, I live in a palace of nice cedar wood, but the Ark of God sits inside a tent. It hardly seemed fair. Shouldn't God have a nicer house than I do? David wanted to build a temple for the Ark of God. Nathan said, God is with you. Do what you want. But God did not want David to do whatever he wanted. God wanted David to do what God wanted. That night, God gave Nathan a message for David. This is what God told Nathan to say. David, are you going to build a house for me to live in? I brought my people out of Egypt. I gave them leaders to guide them. The entire time I have been with them, my house has been a tent. Did I ever ask anyone to build a temple for me? You used to be a shepherd, David, but I made you a king. I helped you defeat your enemies, and my people now live peacefully in their own land. I promise you, David, that you and your descendants will be kings. When you die, one of your sons will be king. He will be a strong king, and no one will be able to take his kingdom away from him. He will build a house for me. I will love him, and I will never leave him. When your son dies, his son will be king. Someone in your family will be king forever. Nathan told David everything that God said. David went into the tabernacle. He sat down and prayed, God, I don't deserve anything you've done for me, and you promised to do so much more. You are so great. There is no one like you. You chose the Israelites to be your own people. You rescued them from slavery in Egypt. God, please keep your promises. I know your words are always true. God promised David that future kings of Israel would come from David's family, and David's kingdom would last forever. God kept his promise by sending his son Jesus as one of David's descendants. Jesus is our king who will rule over God's people forever.